It has been a challenging year for Vladimir Putin. Amid conflicts abroad, tensions with the West, and a major economic slump at home, the Russian president giving a wide-ranging end-of-the-year press conference Thursday to lay out his vision going forward. Following a meeting with Secretary of State John Kerry this week, Putin says he supports the U.S. draft of a U.N. Security Council resolution on Syria. As Russian warplanes continue to fly over Syria, Putin urged a political solution to the crisis. We'll have to do it sooner or later, and it's better to get it done sooner rather than later. We'll have less victims, less losses, and less threats, including threats to Europe and the United States. Conflict in the region has opened up tensions between Russia and Turkey. The Turkish military downing a Russian military plane after it crossed into the country's airspace. Putin saying Thursday Turkey acted, quote, contrary to its own interests, even speculating about some kind of deal brokered between the U.S. and Turkey. I don't even know if the Americans wanted this or not. I can imagine at some level there were agreements that if we bring down the Russian plane, then you close your eyes to us entering the territory of Iraq and occupying part of it. The words come at a time of intense nationalism among the Russian public and still growing support for Putin. According to recent polls, nearly 90 percent of Russians trust and support their president. At the press conference, Putin weighed in on America's presidential race and Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. He's a very bright person, without a doubt. He is saying that he wants to shift to a deeper, more solid level of relationship with Russia. And from our point of view, how can we not welcome that? Ultimately saying, though, it's up to the American public to weigh in on his merits. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. <laughs>